Joseph Ludkin presents Real Wings, realistic inset wings for fly tying, available from realwings.co.uk. Today we will be tying a smut fly using Real Wings. A smut fly is generally speaking a subsurface fly. It's fished just under the surface film when the trout aren't taking from the surface. A smut fly is tied to represent either a drowning fly or perhaps a hatching nymph. To make this version of the smut fly, you will need a Veravas size 18 hook, black micro silk, black pheasant tail fibres, black peacock curl, and some wire thread. And of course, you will also need some flat wings, which you can buy from the website. Here we're using size small, which come in packs of 10. Okay, so I've got my hook in the vise. And I'm going to first of all put down a layer of black silk thread. I'm going to take it around the shank of the hook, just trimming off the excess. And then I'm going to continue to tie in the thread to about three quarters of the way around the hook. And then I'll start coming back the other way until I get to about three quarters of the way back to the eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna tie in some pheasant tail fibers, around about three or four. I want to give a nice covering when I tie it in. Just trim that off there. I'm just gonna put another couple of turns in to stop the fibers from spinning around on the hook. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so now I'm going to pop in a little bit of wire thread. Now, you may notice on the beginning picture that the fly didn't have any wire thread. Um, I quite often tie it without the wire thread in um, because I like the fly to just be a little bit more buoyant. Uh, the wire thread obviously is good to stop the abrasive trout's teeth from breaking the fibres of the pheasant tail. But uh, I thought I'd tie it in this one just to show you. Okay, so I'm going to tie the pheasant tail fibres around the hook. Oh, yeah, I just got caught there. Okay, it's a bit scruffy, but I'm doing it rather quickly just to show you. There you go, I'm just going to tie that in and make that secure. Just a couple of turns. Right, I'm just going to trim off the excess come back and just sort that out a bit later and so I'm going to turn in the wire thread again it's probably quite hasty I could probably do a better job but that'll do okay I'm going to secure that in just a couple of turns with the thread there we go right I'll just trim off this excess piece here uh, job done Okay, I'm just going to smooth that down so not to catch any of the other fibres on there. Yeah, it's looking right. Now I'm ready to tie in my wings. Uh, okay, so I've got some small flat wings here. I'll just show you. There's a little tab, which is uh, useful just to catch in with the thread. Just taking the thread a little bit further up towards the eye of the hook. I've laid the tab just behind the eye. There we go. I'm just going to pop around catch it in a couple of turns with the thread right now I'm just gonna lay the wings down how I would like them to finish so I'm putting one on top of the other they come in a, in a V but they are loose so that you can tie them over okay there's a little burr there sometimes because of the manufacturing process there's a little tiny burr that's just in the finish but that just pops straight off okay so I've put the wings overlapping and I've just laid them down the back of the fly and I've turned in the silk thread a little further up and that is so that uh, I can lay down a thorax on top of it. For the thorax I'm going to use some black peacock curl. Uh, the reason I use peacock curl is because it's got nice little fibres on it which catch and create little bubbles um, of air and trap little bubbles of air which I find keep the fly nice and Buoyant. Okay, so just tied that in. I'm just going to trim it off and uh, 
secure that. Okay. There we go. All right. I'm going to take the hurl and just wrap that around over the top of the thread that I secured the wings on with. It just neatens it up. And the wings just extending straight out of the back of this thorax and it looks quite realistic. Reminds me of hawthorn flies. They're big chunky thorax and they're very, very slender abdomens. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie that off and bring that round. It's a bit tricky, a tiny, very small fly here. Okay, so I've got some excess, just nip that off with the old scissors. Fantastic. Okay, I just pull back the fibers and just make a tiny, tiny head. Just gonna do a small half hitch there. Bring it up. There we go, pop that over. Just push that up nice and tight. I'll snip this off and then I'll pop a little bit of glue on it later on just to make it secure. Right, just a, a little positioning of the wings and a little fluffing up of the thorax. There we go. I think that's about there. And here's a finished smut fly alongside some other patterns that I've tied with some flat wings. We've got a hawthorn and we've got a gnat to finish the collection. Joseph Ludkin's flat wings are available from realwings.co.uk. Thanks for watching.